just made it to Nobi, and uh, there is a line, what looks like to just drive into the camp. So this looks to be much bigger and much more complicated than the first time I was down here. But I want to believe that a larger group of uh, loyal fans will make it even more fun. Yeah. All right, we are going in. Now filming the drive-in is not something I did really last time. Uh, I wish I did. Because these are the roads in which uh, Robbie Morgan jumps out of the Jeep and finds herself killed. I mean, I have no idea where along this road it happens, but it most definitely happens on this road somewhere. Got another checkpoint, so uh, I'm gonna stop right now. Yeah. Oh, and he jumped there. Because the actress Robbie Morgan was here within the past few years, and she point blank remembered where she jumped out of the truck and pointed it out to everyone. Otherwise, it would have been lost to time, but uh, that is pretty exciting. If you look down, you can see that this is the road that uh, Mrs. Voorhees is barreling down in her Jeep, and it actually brings you right to the camp. So the first time I was here, there was maybe two dozen people. Now, as you can see, we're filling up like crazy. What I love is how many people have no idea if the beginning of the movie is filmed right here. So people are stabbing the map, showing them where they're from. A lot of Northeast. Not a lot of Connecticut. It means you're here. I just want to pick. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> I'm Janine Taylor. Yeah, and um, and I played Marcy in the original Friday the Thirteenth that we're that we're all celebrating and enjoying again here. And um, we did film that shower scene. <laughs> right here in this cabin, sort of in the wee hours of the morning, one very dark night, at very early fall, it was the end of the very end of the summer. And it was um, really pretty realistic. So it was very kind of scary at moments, but mostly really just wonderfully interesting. And um, I, uh, I got slightly killed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's have fun in the shower. Would you like to take a shower with me? Yes, please. <laughs> Come on in. I want to see that one. So already a big difference in this tour. As they've kind of done this area up, just like in the movie like the bathroom stalls would have been back here. The sinks would have been up against this wall. The windows match up. And they were cool enough to build this little shower area. Alright, 
there. So one of the first thing I'm noticing that was different from last time yeah. is we have set dressing. So scratch that. Just found out this totem pole is the screen used one. Yeah, I know. I was thinking. Look how awesome that is. That's a good sign. So besides the cabin itself, you'll remember back there was a stove over here. There was another small refrigerator unit, some counter spaces, there was a sink over here, some more counter, a refrigerator in the corner there, and a table in front of the window. And all of that were props, with the exception of the sink, which we, when we re renovated this cabin back in 2007, we actually removed the sink, um, left the plumbing in its place. All right. um, this window back here is the window where Brenda's body comes through, all tied up in a rope. Um, over the table and onto the floor, which kind of trips Alice and kind of figures there's something going on now. She gets in things and it was taken down when the movie was over. No wonder they didn't mind them ripping it. <laughs> choppy this, is, this is the exit to the rear exit of the cabin. Um, so Crazy Ralph comes out, comes outside, you're all doomed, you're all doomed, so on and so forth. You know, I just want to say real quick that like there's almost an a theme park feel here today. It feels almost like being at Disneyland. Like we're at Camp Crystal Lake. Surrounded by horror fans. Everyone's having a blast. And then just look behind me. It's Crystal Lake. Did you already say about what the cabin that when it what goes into when it gets killed or is that not here? That's it. Oh, that is it. You guys are going to go in. And Jack on the bottom? They weren't on the same side. This is why you don't see them in the same frame. <laughs> uh, Ned was on the upper left bunk. It would have been right here in this corner. Yep. That's right. Yes. Two bunks right here. Oh, wow. Going back to the generator shack, seven, eight years later. One of the buildings I wanted to get in last time that I couldn't. Um, looks like we can't get in today, but this is where Barry and Claudette, the very first murders in the movie, happened. And they didn't even know this at the time, but uh, we ended up finding out during the first tour, some of us mega nerdy horror movie fans, that those are the stairs they go up. here those garage doors were sliding doors and that is where Betsy Palmer and Adrian King fight where they find the gun so it's a little slightly surreal I'm uh, sitting here next to the fireplace where Friday 13th begins and 10 feet away Adrian King is signing autographs so Alice Hardy is right there. 
right next to the fireplace. I'm with you again. Yeah, I'm over here like a jerk. Let's play some guitar. 99.9% of the time over the years, it's just sits inside of a glass case and gets looked at by like 11 to 17 year olds that have no clue what it is or what it means. But yes, original sign, one and only, used in the movie. Um, painted directly over Cameron really Bosco's own 50th anniversary sign, which I believe is the only reason we're allowed to keep it because technically our wood, our sign. <laughs> Ah, just a cute look at the boathouse. My phone is empty. Is this the actual spot? This was the Camp Crystal Lake office. They've since renovated the front of it. You can totally see. Old logs meets new logs right here. But over here, Alice would have smashed the door, opened it up through these windows. They would have been making a phone call. The camera pans up. And up there was the cut phone line. Oh, yes, right, right. I mean, yes. I was worrying about him. Okay, very good. Okay. This is seriously so fucking cool. So right now I am in the Van Dusen Lodge. <clears throat> it's my bed over there in the corner. I'm sleeping right by the fireplace in the main cabin of Friday the 13th. Everyone is outside roasting marshmallows. I love them all. And the hairs on the back of my neck went up, and I really believed I was going to be killed by a psycho woman. Well, you're standing so close to her. She no, so we were. Right? No. no. In case anybody was wondering what morning at Crystal Lake looks like. <clears throat> Got remnants of s'mores by the campfire. So I'm down by the boathouse and uh, looks like that pipe that Ned walks down is officially gone and reclaimed by the lake at this point. I was here when I was here seven, eight years ago. I'm not here anymore, obviously. According to the camp, that uh, lifeguard tower is the same one from the movie. They just obviously wrapped the bottom. It's not a storage area. I assume there's a ladder on the inside keeping jerks like me from getting up there. Retaining wall here is also new. So people were lucky enough to be able to spend the night. I was one of them, obviously. Um, That's something you wake up to every day, huh? Exactly, exactly. Unbelievable. I woke up and I'm like, holy shit, I forgot where I was. Huh? <laughs> 
Some people stay in the shower house, which is the Price Lodge down there. I stayed in the Van Dusen, which is the main lodge. Smaller number of people stayed in the Mechanics Lodge, which is up there, which that's Alice's cabin. My cabin, the Van Dusen, was a bunch of dudes. Good luck. Yeah. Watch out for bubbles. Crystal Lake behind me through the through the trees. Met a lot of cool people. Had a really good time. Didn't sleep so well. I was in the Van Deuce in the main lodge. And everyone was snoring like fiends. It sounded like a bear royal rumble. It was it was an adventure though. Had a blast worth every penny.